Back in 2018, we predicted this mega crash. And when prices got down here, everyone called for us to go a lot lower. We called that the bottom was in. We're seeing a lot of the same things play out in 2022. And I wanted to make this video to make sure you know when this Bitcoin bottom will actually happen. Because a lot of folks are going to be completely wrong about this bottom. If you're new here, my name is Steve. A little over 20 years ago, I got into the stock market and I thought I was going to make a lot of money. I was wrong. I made every mistake in the book. It was painful. I lost a lot of money. And over the past 20 years, I figured out how to dominate this game. That's why I'm sitting here with you today to make sure you do not have to make all of those mistakes that I unfortunately did. We've been covering crypto since 2017 and our main focus is to help you use your crypto to gain financial freedom. Hit that subscribe button right now. Let's jump into it. We talked about what happened in 2018 and we're seeing the same exact pattern play out in 2022. In 2022, what was happening? We were on schedule for another mega crash. We called the mega crash officially at 48K. That was the beginning of the mega crash. And now since we had the mega crash, Everyone now is calling for us to go a lot lower, but the same things are playing out. The same folks that were saying that we're going a lot higher back here, they're saying we're going a lot lower here. That's the exact way it played out in 2018. When we called for this mega crash, everyone was calling for us to go a lot higher. The same folks called for us to go a lot lower here. That's why I wanted to make this video. Let me show you what the actual facts in the charts are saying. And we're going to run through a handful to make sure you have a clear picture. And then I'm going to give my prediction at the end of the video. Stay tuned for my prediction because these are just the facts in the charts. Pi cycle bottom. We're about to have a cross. We've only had two other crosses and they marked the precise bottom. When the red line crosses the green, that marked the bottom. 2015, when the red line crosses the green, that was the bottom. So right now, we're about to have this cross, literally moments away. That bottom could potentially be in. Now we've got this MZ Bitcoin oscillator at the bottom. Basically, when we print these big, heavy green bars, that marked the absolute bottom. It did so right here in 2015 or 2018. It did so here with the COVID crash. We just printed the green bar. And the only other time we did that was in 2015. We printed this green bar and this green bar, where I precisely the market bottoms. So far, it's been completely accurate and both the top of the chart and the bottom of the chart are dictating that the market bottom is already in or about to happen. Now I wanna go into a couple other charts. We've got the 100 and 200 day moving average, the blue and the red. When they cross, it's major. If you look at when they crossed in 2015, it was just after the market bottom. It was at a time when everyone thought we were going a lot lower and we crossed just to give this special signal like, hey, wake up, the bottom is in. So we had that wake up call just a handful of days after our bottom. Same thing in 2019. When the blue line crosses the red, it was after we knew we already had the bottom. And again, at this time, during the market, we had video after video. Everyone thought we were going a lot lower and we were like, hey, the bottom is more than likely in. The bottom is, is, is we're not going a lot lower. You can look at the charts. So what are we saying in 2022? We have not crossed yet, but we're incredibly close. Now pay attention to this next chart. Yellow line crossing the red. We have 120 on the weekly, the moving averages have been fascinatingly accurate as well. When we had the cross, it was just before our bottom. When we had this cross, it was exactly at our bottom. We had this cross precisely at this candle. All right, 17.5, we had this cross. So we're showing chart after chart dictating a specific story. And I'm gonna give my prediction at the end of this video. But take a look here, golden zones. We've only had five of them in history, that's it. The golden zone represents the best opportunity to buy Bitcoin, hands down. Men lie, women lie, the charts don't lie. When we enter this golden zone with actual candles, it's time to pay attention. Now, how do we know which candle inside of the golden zone to buy? 
because sometimes there are a lot of candles inside the golden zone as we had in 2015. Well, when the RSI touches this yellow line here, that marks the absolute bottom. So two steps. A, we have to be in the golden zone, and B, we have to touch the yellow line here. When both of them are true at the same time, that's the market bottom. 2018, we were in the golden zone, and we touched this line right here. That happened to be the exact market bottom. Both were true at the exact same time. 2020, we're inside the golden zone, and we just touched the line. Take a look. We have one more chart. What we look at here is the four-day death cross. When we have the four-day death cross, it gives us a little signal that the bottom had already happened. You can see in 2015, we had the four-day death cross after our bottom already happened. 2019 had the four-day death cross after our bottom already happened. Both of those times, people thought we were going a lot lower. 2022, we're about to have this four-day death cross. So that tells us, based on these facts, the bottom is already in. Now, last but not least, this chart here. And then I'm going to give my prediction. This chart here has predicted the bottom for the past 11 years with our strategy. This is a strategy we built uh, with our two hands. And we have below, below, below. Anytime we're below price action of this 200 MA on the two-day chart and below 26 on the RSI and below 20 on the stochastic RSI, all of them happen to be true at the same time. They have to be true at the same time. And we've only printed a few buys in this entire lifespan of Bitcoin. The next one was in 2015, bottom, bottom, bottom. 2018, boom, boom, boom. 2020, below, below, below. It never prints a false signal. You have to get below, below, below at precisely the same time. And when do we do that in 2022? Precisely at 17.5 was below, below, below saying that the bottom is in. Now for the prediction. When we look at all of these facts, when we take into consideration what was happening in 2018, what people were saying up here, they were saying we're going a lot higher. The same people down here were saying we're going a lot lower. We put the bottom in down here. We called for that mega crash. It's almost to the T what's happening in 2022. We called for a mega crash. We're here. We got it. Now those same people are calling for us to go a lot lower. And this is no diss to anybody in the comments or anywhere on social media. I don't want to throw shade or anything like that. I think that's relatively silly. But based on the facts and the charts, I do believe that the bottom is in or it's about to happen in the next seven days. And that's my honest opinion. And that is my prediction. Share this video, subscribe, and I'll see you right back here in the next video.